Hey friends, for this video, we're going to take this antique washstand and give it a new look. First of all, we're going to get started with cleaning it with Dixie Bell's white lighting and give it a good rinse after that stuff. Once that's complete, we're going to use Dixie Bell's Boss. I like the gray just because it gets me closer to the color I'm headed for. And we'll let that dry overnight and then follow that up with two coats of Dixie Bell's Burlap Chalk Mineral Paint. Give it a quick sand between each coat and then we're all set, ready to get re started into the blending. Blending is really the feature of this video and I want to talk about how I get that highlighted vignette that I'm looking for. Since burlap is our base coat, we're going to put a quick light coat of that on the panel section. Work in a small area. We don't want to do a large area just because you need to keep your blending area wet. The key is that you have enough paint so you can blend the two colors together. So once you're done putting the first coat on there, take another brush and keep that dedicated to the second color. Apply it in the areas you want to blend. Here I'm using Dixie Belle's Drop Cloth as a lighter color to burlap. And you are basically mixing the colors as you're painting that on. This is an old oval small brush that I'm using to blend the two colors. I'm putting a little bit of extra uh, power into it, but eventually as you finish up, you want to have a lighter hand. I like to use the word feather, so a feather touch, so less pressure, maybe 5% pressure. And I'm using a damp rag to wipe off any excess paint on, from my brush. When you're confident and you're happy with the blending, you might go back with the original base coat color and just paint over any areas that may have gotten a little bit of that lighter color. And so that panel is all done. You can see the highlighted section. I'm basically making the panels pop a little bit more. And that's the technique I'll use throughout the rest of the piece. You'll see here that one drawer already has the technique of the blending. And the second drawer I'm in the process of blending now. Apply the burlap base coat first then come back with the lighter color. Give it a good mist. You want to keep this wet and then use your blending brush just to fade it all in together. Light touch, move quickly and keep it wet. Those are the three main techniques you want to use throughout blending. Let's move to a side panel. What I do here, I'll repeat on the other side as well. So let's go through the steps. First, put your base coat on there. Remember, I've already painted twice, two coats on this piece, so it, it's not critical that I get full coverage of this, but I am trying to create a base for the blending to take place. Keep your misting bottle handy. I can use a larger brush for this technique, but since I used the one inch on the other, other pieces, I just continued using the one inch on the sides. Now I'm going to go back to my drop cloth color and start working in the middle and across, slowly working that paint into the base coat color that's already there. If too much of this color is getting lost in the base coat, then work on a lighter color like burlap. I'm doing a little bit of blending with this brush. Eventually, once I'm fairly happy with where I'm at, I'm going to jump into using my blending brush. Having the wet rag does allow for the brush to already be a little bit wet when I wipe it off. Probably at this point I've not done any misting yet, but if you're feeling like the paint's getting sticky, there we go. Put a little bit of mist on there and go over it one more time and that usually helps it blend. Just create that soft vignette that you might want. However, you can create a circle, an oval, whatever shape you'd like at this point. I just want to accentuate the panel, kind of creating an inner vignette overall. And I'll repeat the same technique on the other side. Burlap, drop cloth, blend it, soften it, vignette it, and the piece will be done. So you'll see on this one that I also go back with the original base coat color and do a little touch up around the edges that may I have received a little bit of the highlight color. You can't see it on camera, but it'll dry and it'll look just fine. And here it is in place. So this is all ready for top coat and then finished staging pictures that you can see here at the end. 
For the top of this piece, I used Dixie Belle's No Pain Gel Stained Espresso after giving it a good sand, and it really helped pop and complement this piece overall. I polished the hardware with Barkeeper's Friend, and it really made that hardware shine against this new finished piece. The client's going to love it, and I hope you do too. Let me know in the comments what you think.